So everyone, I've just pulled up at the Wesley Hospital. I'm here to take part in a study. I'm very excited about this study, actually. It's, um, it's all about gluten and how much people with celiac disease can tolerate it. So I'm gonna go in and see Dr. James Davison, and he's the principal investigator of the study, and he's gonna run me through everything we need to do. He's gonna take some blood tests and tell me what's involved with the study. So. Stay tuned, I'm going to tell you all about it. So I just got out of um, my first study visit for this um, gluten trial. Um, they just took a medical history and um, made sure I wasn't pregnant. They also did some blood tests um, just to confirm um, which celiac gene I've got and also just to make sure that I don't have a lot of gluten in my diet. I guess they're just testing my gluten antibodies with that. So basically I'm going to be part of the group two participants um, and I'm going to have to do three gluten challenges. Okay, so I've just arrived at the Wesley Hospital for visit two of the trial. So what I've had to do is I've had to fast from midnight last night. I haven't had any breakfast or any um, coffee. <laughs> but um, today they're going to um, take some blood samples from me and they're going to give me a little pill and I won't know what's in it and neither will they. But it'll either be nothing or it'll be... Um, three varying, varying um, doses of gluten. So that's going to be quite interesting to see what happens. Ooh, wish me luck. This is my room. Okay. I've got my stuff to do some work. This is 1913. Uh, what's the middle Nine, one? 90? 90 or oh, 160. 60. Yeah, oh, milligrams. Okay, that's not as much as I thought. I'll be fine. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Now the waiting game. So this is my options. After an hour, I get to eat something. And look at this menu, will you? There's some great gluten-free options on there. Okay, so I've had my pill. pills. Um, don't, not sure whether they've got gluten in them, but um, yeah, I'm just going to sit at the table and do some work for a little while and see what happens. The nurse is going to check on me in an hour, and every hour I have to report on my symptoms. Um, they also have to collect my wee because they test my wee to see if any gluten has come out. Um, yeah, and then I get my bloods taken in another two hours, so I'll update you again in an hour. 10 past 11 now and I've just had to do my um, diaries again, my symptom um, surveys and now I'm allowed to have something to eat so I'm getting coffee and a couple of gluten free biscuits so I'm going to get stuck into them. I'm feeling okay, all I've really had is a little bit of stomach gurgling but I think that's because I've swallowed two pills and that's all I had in my stomach so yeah, otherwise I'm feeling okay, so I'll check in again soon. So it's now been nearly three hours since I've had um, my dose and nothing's happened. I'm just feeling quite hungry because I haven't had any lunch yet, but yeah, I've just been working away, having a little chin wag to the study nurse. Um, they've taken some blood, they've taken another urine sample, um, and I've got to fill out my survey soon, but yeah, there's nothing to report, nothing to report. So I'm wondering whether I might have had the placebo, but I won't find out that for a while. But I've got another two visits to go, and I know at least one of them, or probably both of them, are going to be gluten. So I'm going to have to report on that later. So it's three and a half hours into the study visit now, and I've just received my lunch. Mmm roast pork and fruit salad. <laughs> I'm pretty hungry now. Um, I've had a little tiny bit of like gassy feeling in my stomach. I'm not really sure if that's, um, you know, just my stomach acid saying I'm hungry, feed me. But yeah, we'll see how I feel after I eat this. <laughs> okay, so it's just been over five hours now since I had my dose of 
gluten or placebo. Um, so at about the four, three and a half to four hour mark, I started just feeling a little bit of discomfort in my tummy um, and I started feeling a little bit bloated, like my pants were tight um, and some pains just up in my upper abdomen. A um, little bit, like it wasn't too bad, but I was like bringing up lots of gas, belching quite a bit, but um, but yeah, and I ever so slightly felt like my throat clenched up, like I was like, hmm, am I going to be sick? But it like literally lasted a second or two, so, um, but yeah, and now I'm sort of over that and I'm feeling okay. Um, I've got one last set of observations to go. Um, another one more blood test and yeah and then I'm going to be allowed to leave so I'm going to have to fill in another um, diary tonight just to um, so they can monitor whether I've had any brain fog or um, other symptoms that they haven't you know asked me about already and I have to do that for another two days as well so yeah I'm nearly ready to go all right so that's day two visit two uh, done and dusted I'm pretty happy with how that went. I, my feeling is that I actually had a small amount of gluten. It's also possibly possible that I just had the placebo and you know my tummy effects were just from not eating for so long and then having two coffees and yeah just the, the lunch that I had. I'm gonna have to wait and see on that one but my next update will be at visit three. All right so here I am. I'm here for the second visit to the hospital, which is actually visit number three, but it's the second time I'm going to be dosed with gluten. Um, I'm a little bit worried about today because chances are I think I'm going to get a higher dose than I got last time, and because nothing really happened the first time. So if I get all the doses in my three visits, um, then it means then yeah, it's more likely I'm going to get something higher that'll probably make me sick. But, you know, I could also get the placebo, so I'm not really sure. I'm really hungry because it's almost 10 o'clock and I haven't had um, any breakfast. Luckily, I had set a reminder in my phone to tell me to fast, otherwise I would have forgotten. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to my first coffee and I'll update you very soon. I might try the panna cotta this time. Yep, fire away. Thank you. I'm a bit nervous about this one because last time didn't really do anything much. So I'm figuring I'm going to get probably a bigger dose this time. Okay. Get up. Okay. <gasps> Wish me luck. Ah. Okay. Not in a couple of hours. <laughs> Okay, so here I am. Um, I've come in and I've had a cannula put in so they can take bloods every two hours. Um, I've got my little surveys that I need to fill in on every hour. Um, I've had my gluten. Um, they've given me a little gift card and they pay for my parking, which is nice. And I've just actually, it's about an hour and a half in and I've just got my lunch and a coffee which I'm going to devour because I'm absolutely starving. Um, and also, the girls from marketing just dropped by and did an interview with me, um, just asked me a few questions um, just to um, help encourage other people to take part in the study. So I'll be sharing that with you um, when that comes through, but it'll be on their social media. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more work now and I will let you know if I start to feel anything. Okay, bye. So it's now um, one o'clock. I had my gluten at 10.30, so that means it's been two and a half hours um, and I'm not feeling anything. So um, yeah, I really thought this time I would get a dose that would make me feel sick, but either I've had the placebo or I've had um, a very low dose that doesn't affect me. Um, they've taken my observations again, um, my blood pressure, my um my blood um and everything like that um yeah but nothing's happened i'll update you in another hour or so so it's about 3 30 now um and nothing's happened again um 
around the three and a half hour mark I had a little bit of like acid reflux like a um, just a feeling of acid in my tummy it's so minor though there wasn't really anything on the questionnaire I could answer to describe that so I just told the nurse that that's what happened um, but yeah nothing's happened again so I don't know what's going on <laughs> maybe they're saving the best for last so as part of the study they have to collect all my urine through the day um, because they I think they can detect the, the the gliadin fragments in my urine so they gave me like one of these I'm like dude you're gonna have to get me a bigger container <laughs> so they come back with one of these I'm like no still not big enough but <laughs> sorry so they ended up coming back with another container and yeah I don't know <laughs> it probably still wasn't quite big enough but it got most of it so just thought that was a bit of a laugh so i'm ready to do my last set of observations now they like to, they like me to lay down while i do my survey just so i'm relaxed when they take my blood pressure but yeah this is the end of the the day and i've not really had anything happen so i don't know what's going on okay so here i am at the wesley for my final visit um i did have a quick chat with the nurse on the phone yesterday just to confirm um, with the dosages that I was having because there's a little bit of confusion so um, so I'll I either get placebo um, or 13 milligrams 90 milligrams or 610 milligrams so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get today um, it could be the big one I don't think I've had the big one yet so we'll have to wait and see because I'm here so early today I get breakfast and lunch hmm I am so hungry, it's not even funny. This is my room for today. I've got a beautiful forest scene today. I'm about to get the pathologist up to take my blood and then I'm gonna have my final dose for the study. All right, here we go, lucky last. I just had my first set of bloods taken. Um, I chose this time to have bloods taken four times rather than having the cannula because I found it really quite uncomfortable last time, for, you know, for six hours being in my arm and it was a bit sore for a few days afterwards. So I'd just rather have <laughs> four needles um, over the day and yeah, and in between I'm not feeling any discomfort. Okay, it's now an hour after I had my um, gluten dose and I am now allowed to have some breakfast. I've got some cornflakes, some toast and two lovely poached eggs and some fruit and most of all coffee. So after I had the pills I just like, like had to burp a couple of times. I don't know if that really means anything in my my um I had a little bit of um rumbling in my stomach um but yeah that's about it I don't know if that was just because I've got an empty stomach I think if that happened a similar thing happened on the first visit unfortunately the eggs weren't poached exactly to my liking I like midway between a, a soft and a hard poached egg but hey we're in hospital okay so we're at the two hour post dose mark now and I've just had my second lot of bloods taken um Usually two hours, if I had a substantial amount of gluten, usually two hours is the mark where I, I'll know about it. I'll normally start feeling nausea at around the hour and a half mark and I'll be vomiting within two hours. But I have noticed the last two times I've been glutened, um, I haven't, it, it's been a more extended response. So um, yeah, who knows? Um, but I certainly don't feel like I've had a large amount of gluten now and I think I would have been feeling sick if I had. So um, I'll guess I'll update you in another hour. It's been just over three hours since I had my gluten. Um, and yeah, I, I just did my last survey and I feel like, like I just had the ever so slightest feeling of nausea. Um, not sure if it was just the coffee that I had or what, but or whether it's just all in my head. But um, 
but I just wrote that I have I felt a little tiny bit of nausea, nausea but nothing really else has happened. Um, I'm probably going to get hungry again soon and my lunch should be hopefully on its way in the next hour or so. Um, but yeah, nothing to report. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe I have gluten superpowers. But it will all hopefully be told in my blood what actually happened in my body. Um, so I'll update you again soon. Okay, we are now four hours post-dose and um, I've been feeling a little bit off. So it's almost like I don't really know whether I feel sick or not, but I definitely didn't feel like eating all my lunch. I just had a little bit of fruit and I've asked for some fruit juice because I just can't stomach any more water um, and that's about the worst of it so really mild you know um, possibly related to the gluten and um, well what else would it be um, but again it could just I could have had the placebo and just be feeling sick because my mind's told me I've had gluten that's the beauty of this study being blinded is that no one really knows until the end of the study Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention was that I've been burping a lot. Like, I've been really gassy, but all the bubbles are coming up. Um, and that's something that happens to me occasionally, so um, maybe that's a reaction to gluten. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's one symptom other than the nausea I've, I've really had. Nothing else. Hmm. So I've got about 15 minutes left until my very last set of observations and um, questionnaires and the last two hours I, yeah, I felt fine. So whatever that slight feeling of that nausea I had earlier went away, I don't know what it was, um, I feel good enough to have some of my, my lunch and yeah. I'm going to be sent on my way and not very shortly and that will be the end of the study for me so it's really interesting what's happened i you know, i guess this means that i don't react i know i don't react to i would have at least had the two smaller doses of gluten um i may have even had the big dose the half gram but um yeah i guess what i can take away from the study so far is that I can have up to 90 milligrams of gluten and have barely any symptoms. So that's something interesting to know. Um, and I won't know until the end of the study. Uh, I may never know, but I'm hoping they're going to tell us at the end of the study um, which doses we had and when. Um, and it's possible that I had the half milligram, the 610, uh, sorry, the 610 milligram. Um, and maybe I didn't react to that either. So, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So there we go. Um, I survived <laughs> the study um, virtually unscathed. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that. Um, I'm, my theory is that I had probably the placebo on my second visit. And given that my reaction was very mild, but sort of a little bit similar, on the other two visits, I think I had the two lower amounts, like the 90 milligram and the and the 13. That's my theory, but I could be completely wrong about this. And this is the beauty of research, um, is that sometimes your mind can tell you, you know what's going on, but um, what's actually happening in your body is a totally different thing altogether. So I'm really excited to find out um, what actually happened. On these visits and and of course i'll be giving you that information as soon as i have it but that's all for me for the gluten threshold study and if you want to be a participant um, and help me get the results of this and all of us get the results of this study um, as soon as possible um, please contact wesley research um, center um, i'll put the link below or around this video and um yeah please please help if you can it, it's a it's a fantastic study and it's really important for everyone with celiac disease. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.